The way I look at it is limited detection is, is talks about the engineering and the instrument and the chemistry, whereas LOQ is really thinking about how it's going to perform in the wild. Hey Nick, the other day we were speaking at the coffee machine and mm. we were speaking about developing another assay and, and in relation to this assay we are speaking about LOD and LOQ. Uh, and I yes. know that you know, uh, you know something about this, so can you share that with us? Sure, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a classic uh, uh, conversation piece when we're developing assays is LOD and LOQ. And uh, I guess first I'll start there, you know engineers love our TLA, three letter acronyms, so what, <laughs> what do those two acronyms mean? LOD stands for limit of detection and LOQ stands for limit of quantification. And hearing those words, it kind of sounds the same. They do sound very and similar. It, it's, it's very confusing. And when I was, when I was learning the, the trade of, of developing assays, uh, we used to refer to uh, it as analytical sensitivity versus functional sensitivity. And so one can say analytical sensitivity is LOD. Uh, what I mean by that is how low can we drive that assay? What's the lowest amount of whatever analyte it is that we can detect? And mm -hmm. that's really exciting from an engineering perspective. Whereas um, functional sensitivity or limit of quantification is how practical that is out in the wild. Mm -hmm. You know, what, if I'm an operator, how low can I, you know, when I'm handling all the reagents, how, what's the limit of detection I can get with that? Versus if you're the operator, what equipment we're using. It's really, the way I look at it is, Limit of detection is, is talks about the engineering and the instrument and the chemistry, whereas LOQ is really thinking about how it's going to perform in the wild. We're thinking about all the different uh, reagents and things that are going to come into play, different physiologies um, and, and that. Another interesting thing from an engineering perspective, when we're designing these, these systems, we're talking about LOD and LOQ, we often come up with a rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. And that rule of thumb is for LOD, we want to be about three standard deviations above our uh, limit of blank or the detection limit so we can see that signal. Whereas LOQ has to be much more sensitive because it's going out in the wild. We want to be about 10 standard deviations above that noise threshold and then that becomes a, an assay system. There you go. So both of those are relevant. Both of those need to be tested uh, as, and that's often on us to do that. Um, Absolutely. And both of them very relevant into the, into the wild. Absolutely. Very, okay. uh, very interesting topic. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day.